in the heart of the forest, where the tall trees dance with the wind and the creatures of the wild roam freely, lies a tale of wit and wisdom. As the gentle rustle of leaves whispers secrets of the woodlands, we find ourselves in a realm where even the smallest of beings can make the mightiest of impacts. Here, amidst the lush green foliage and the dappled sunlight, resides a small, colorful bird. Though diminutive in size, this bird is a vibrant splash of life against the verdant backdrop. Its melodious chirping adds to the forest symphony, a testament to its lively spirit. In the same forest soaring above the treetops is a mighty hawk, a symbol of strength and power. Its piercing gaze misses nothing, its formidable presence a stark contrast to our tiny feathered friend. But here's where the forest tells us a different story, a story where size doesn't dictate strength. Yet what the bird lacked in size it made up for in intelligence and cunning. One day the small bird encountered a formidable hawk, a creature known for its strength and ferocity. The hawk with its sharp talons and piercing eyes was a symbol of power and dominance in the forest. It was a bird of prey, feared by all. Yet it was this very creature that our small bird decided to challenge. The bird, despite its petite size and delicate features, was not one to back down. It recognized the hawk's strength but believed in the power of its own wit and cunning. So it perched itself on a high branch, its feathers ruffling in the wind and called out to the hawk. Oh, great and powerful hawk! It began, its voice echoing through the forest. I may be small, but I am brave. I do not fear you. I challenge you not in a contest of strength, but in a game of wit. The hawk, hearing the bird's words, let out a loud mocking laugh that echoed through the trees. It was amused by the audacity of the small bird. Yet the hawk was intrigued. It was used to physical challenges, but a game of wit was new and enticing. You dare to challenge me, little one? The hawk asked, its voice filled with amusement and surprise. I must say, you are unlike any bird I have ever met, you have sparked my curiosity. The small bird, now gaining confidence, replied, I may not be as strong as you, but I am clever. I believe that intelligence can triumph over strength. So, do you accept my challenge, O oh mighty hawk? The hawk, drawn in by the bird's audacity and intrigued by the prospect of a new challenge, agreed. It spread its wings wide, casting a large shadow over the small bird and said, Very well, I shall humor you, what is your game? If you're as swift as you claim, then catch me if you can. The small bird taunted the hawk, her voice echoing through the tranquil forest. This was not an act of desperation, but rather a calculated plan, a clever trap set by the bird to outsmart her formidable adversary. The bird knew she couldn't match the hawk's physical strength or speed. However, she was quick-witted and resourceful. She understood the terrain and the elements at her disposal. This understanding, coupled with her intelligence, was her secret weapon, her trump card. The bird had chosen the battleground carefully, a mound of earth near her nest. It was a seemingly ordinary spot in the vast forest, but to the bird, it was strategic. The mound was her sanctuary, her safe haven, and she knew every inch of it. As the bird darted towards the mound, the hawk, blinded by arrogance and the thrill of the chase, accepted the challenge without a second thought. The hawk was confident of its victory, convinced that its superior strength and speed would make short work of the small bird. But the bird was one step ahead. As the hawk swooped down with lightning speed, the bird disappeared under the mound. The hawk, caught in its blind pursuit, couldn't react in time. It crashed into the mound with a deafening thud, sending a cloud of dust into the air. The forest fell silent. The mighty hawk, once the embodiment of strength and ferocity, now lay motionless on the ground. The bird, on the other hand, emerged victorious from her hiding place. She had not only survived the encounter, but had also outsmarted the hawk. The bird's victory was a testament to her quick thinking and resourcefulness. It was a clear demonstration that size and strength aren't always the determining factors of victory. Sometimes it's the mind that holds the key to triumph. And in its blind pursuit, the hawk crashed into the mound of earth with a deafening thud. The bird's cunning had turned the tables, proving that even the mightiest can fall when outwitted. The forest echoed with the bird's triumphant chirps, a melody of victory that will forever resonate in the heart of the forest. But the little bird was one step ahead, using its quick thinking and resourcefulness to outsmart the mighty hawk. The bird understood that it didn't need the strength of a hawk to win, it needed only its wit. So as the hawk swooped down, its eyes fixed on the bird, the little creature had already made its move. With the agility of a gymnast, 
the bird darted beneath the mound of earth, leaving only the hawk and its unchecked speed. The hawk, too committed to its path, crashed into the mound with a resonating thud that echoed through the forest. The dust settled, the trees stilled, and there, lying in the aftermath of its own arrogance, was the hawk, dazed and defeated. Meanwhile, from the safety of its burrow, the small bird peeked out. Its heart was pounding, but its spirit was alight with triumph. Its plan had worked. It had outsmarted the hawk, not with strength or size, but with intelligence and courage. It had proven that, in the world of the wild, wit can indeed conquer might. Emerging from the burrow, the bird fluttered onto the mound, its feathers ruffling in the breeze. It looked down at the hawk, a symbol of its victory. It gave a triumphant chirp, a song of victory that echoed through the forest, a testament to its triumph. The other creatures of the forest, who had been watching the spectacle from the safety of their homes, came out to witness the victorious bird. And so, through wit and wisdom, the small bird emerged victorious over its much larger adversary. It had proven that intelligence and cunning could conquer brute strength. It had shown the forest that the size of your body does not determine the size of your courage. It had taught them all a valuable lesson. In the game of survival, it's not the strongest who prevail, but the cleverest. Remember my friends, in the game of life, it's not always the strongest who prevail, but those who are wise enough to outsmart their opponents. This is the valuable lesson imparted by the story of our little avian hero, who despite its small size and lack of physical strength, managed to defeat a much larger and stronger adversary through sheer intelligence and cunning. In the heart of a serene forest, a tiny bird, full of life and courage, found itself face to face with a mighty hawk. The hawk, known for its strength and ferocity, was a formidable opponent. But the bird, undeterred by the hawk's intimidating presence, chose to challenge it, not in a test of strength, but in a game of wits. The bird's clever trap, a mound of earth, was a masterstroke of ingenuity. It knew that the hawk, blinded by its own arrogance, would see only the bird as its target and fail to notice the trap until it was too late. And so, the hawk, in its haste to capture the bird, crashed into the mound of earth while the bird, safe and sound, emerged victorious. What a triumph it was. A victory not of brute strength but of intellect and strategy. The bird had outsmarted the hawk, proving that size and strength are not always the determinants of victory. This tale of the bird and the hawk carries a profound lesson for all of us. In our daily lives, we often face challenges that seem insurmountable. We encounter adversaries who appear stronger, more powerful, more capable. But just like the little bird, we too can turn the tables by using our intelligence, our resourcefulness, and our cunning. We can outsmart our problems. We can devise clever strategies to overcome our obstacles. We can use our intellect to find solutions where brute force fails. And in doing so, we can triumph over even the most formidable challenges. So let's take a leaf out of the bird's book. Let's not be intimidated by the size or strength of our challenges. Instead, let's use our intelligence, our cunning, and our creativity to find solutions. Let's remember that in the face of adversity, it's not always the strongest who prevail, but those who are wise enough to outsmart their opponents. In the end, it is not brute strength, but wisdom that truly conquers all. It is not the size of our muscles, but the power of our minds that determines our victories. So let's nurture our minds, let's cultivate our intelligence, let's sharpen our cunning, and let's remember always that wisdom is the true conqueror. For in the end, it is wisdom that truly conquers all.